Hello everybody, this is Kyle with Kirksville Web Design. Today we're going to do another technical SEO audit on a website. Uh, you can see I have it pulled up here. Uh, I asked the website owner if I could do a video review and he agreed happily. Great. Uh, it's good content for me and uh, hopefully beneficial for him too on getting kind of an evaluation on uh, how his website is doing uh, here on the on the front end. So I'm going to begin by taking a look at our detailed Chrome extension. So when I uh, utilize that, I can see like uh, it gives me a kind of a good idea of what the site is going to be about because obviously like title and the description will be helpful. I can kind of identify the keywords and keyword phrases uh, that his website as a whole will pro probably be targeting uh, and definitely the home page of course will be tailored for that so we see the title is uh, the brand name old oak barrel and uh, what do they do they create handcrafted solid wood furniture so very clear brand name and primary service uh, primary product and and so that is uh, very good you could switch that you know um, between you know product and then brand name uh, that's a p uh, potential path. I think both are viable, uh, especially on the home page if you want to go very um, brand forward and try to express that you know from uh, you know the features of the brand and what the brand you know value the brand brings. That's good for a home page. So perhaps that's the mission here. and so brand name first is perfectly fine. Uh, we can get a sense of the description as well. Description a little bit uh, full here on some keywords. Maybe a little bit of uh, you know stuffing here, um, but you know I don't think you'll really be penalized that much for an overage in this point because I mean key, uh, meta descriptions are no longer um, a key factor you know for SEO and um, so we don't need to worry about it too much. I mean of course good good thing to do, but uh, uh, you know Google and website visitors are smarter than that these days, and it's not so much. Uh, meta keywords or descriptions that are, um, you know, a key metric in SEO. I like this because it also gives ideas on the on the word count for the page, as well as some other you know key features about any uh, robot tags, sitemap tags that are used, uh, keywords, publisher, so forth. So and then it gives us a nice little review here of the. Uh, headings that are used on the page as well as number of images and links. Um, okay, so we've got one H1 tag and 11 H2s and we're going to see that here on the home page here in a moment. <clears throat> so one thing here as you can tell, uh, especially in the logo mark, it's been identified for us, established in 2011. So it's not a new site, perhaps it was a redesign and that's why they're looking for website feedback. Um, so the website does have some authority behind it. I have here enabled the uh, Moz SEO bar, the Moz bar from Moz, as it said here. So it tells us a bit of, you know, gives an idea, an estimation of domain authority, page authority, um, some backlinks that are present. So not a new site, has a little bit of uh, clout already and authority already running for it. So now let's turn that off for now and let's enable highlighting our headings and we're just going to explore this home page together how about that so the first heading our h1 is the logo mark interesting uh, i've seen this on a couple sites here recently <clears throat> and i had to do some some investigation about best practices um, this is not a best practice you really don't want an image to be your h1 tag um, now I did look at the code for it. <clears throat> the image is wrapped in this H1 tag and there's also a span here that's visually hidden. Uh, a little bit of red flag there as well, hiding like texts for this uh, span, you know, uh, with the brand name Old Oak Barrel. So definitely not, not best practice there. We also see with the image itself, there's no alt tag for it and there's no title for it. So that's also bad to see. 
and that's not going to help um, this H1 H1 tag. You know, for for viewers, it's somewhat hidden, and for Google, you know, it's not exactly clear. And there's only the brand name here uh, to be in the H1 tag anyway, so it's not descriptive. There's no keyword phrases uh, in the H1 tag, which you would like to see. <clears throat> so I would revamp that and and, and that uh, concept. Um, I would bring the H1 down here. Uh, perhaps right at this point would be like an H1 tag. And then, so that, that brings me then to this next point. So this next content area identifies two specific products, coat racks and floating shelves, right? You would expect that actually be a little bit farther down the page and first give us this H1 tag, you know, beautiful um, descriptive H1 tag that just tells us exactly what you do. And for me, I was looking at the text and I thought, you know, this right here, premium handcrafted solid wood furniture. I mean, that is descriptive of exactly what you're delivering. And so I thought that was, that should be like the H1 tag or something, you know, incorporates that uh, text or that concept into the H1 tag instead of uh, a tagline that is really, you know, real wood furniture for real life. Um, you know, put that in the footer or something or put that in the text somewhere but you know promote an h1 that is um, descriptive of the products you know here at hand and then guess what you get to do after that well you get to identify here are best selling premium handcrafted solid wood furniture coat racks and floating shelves right so you put these h2 tags then below a nice h1 and then what goes under that well i think i would do another uh, H2 tag here below because you've got basically three subheadings you know artfully prepared here in the slider handcrafted which I mean you could add a little bit more flair for that handcrafted perfectly finished and furniture grade and it got nice little descriptions under them you know, these are perfect subheadings like H3 headings so put it under another H2 category you know about about the furniture and then put these three subheadings out down under it. And then, so further down the page, we got another H2 tag. So you can see this this page is rather flat. Uh, we've got a logo mark H1 and then just a bunch of H2s. And so this is now take a closer look at our solid oak coat racks. And very a little bit of a strange um, turn of events then, you know, to go straight into the coat racks here on the home page, which we had coat racks again up above, you saw, and then coat racks down below. So, I mean, I guess, you know, the coat racks are, are doing well. Um, but, you know, let's take all this great coat rack, you know, verbiage and context and images and all that, make a great page specifically targeted at that, and not so much the home page. You know, make it a, a subheading or a you know mentioned once and then move on because you're really gonna want to target that on a specific subpage on a on a category page for these products because then you have the items as well which would be somewhat duplicate you know of what's coming down the line big video and then customer reviews as h2 tag you know this could be better utilized this uh, space you know for SEO just you could kind of make it more like why your customers love you know these handcrafted premium solid wood products uh, here are the customer reviews you know something more around that and then you know maybe what they liked about it would be highlighted as like an H3 or something as a subheading. Um, but this is a little bit flat as, as well. And then, okay. Then the footer, you know, putting these H2 tags down here, which with essentially what is like a sitemap, you know, a directory on the page, this is going to be universal and featured every page. So every page you have generic shop, every page you have generic useful links. It's not telling users, I mean, it's telling users something, but you know, it's not telling Google anything. Uh, it's not like you're in a rank, rank for shop, <laughs> but uh, you know, just make that normal text. It's fine. Like, don't make it a heading. Just normal text. All right. So 
you know, a couple missed opportunities on the home page, a little bit of a restructuring that can happen to improve things. Let's move on to the, that coat racks page. What is here? Solid oak coat racks. Title is solid oak coat racks and the brand. Okay. Description missing there. Interesting. And then, so what do we have? You know, just an H1, right? H1. Good. I mean, that's what exactly what this page is and is about. But you know we have each individual product and nothing more to say about coat racks which we had some to say on the on the home page right so bring that over here flesh that out and uh improve this page all about you know, faqs maybe you know about coat racks how to how to care for these uh, beautiful coat racks and then let's let's go to a specific product how about that so again, let's take a look at the title. Title's a bit full on characters. Description's a bit overstuffed. Um, okay, so a little, you know, some red flags here already. Um, and then look at the highlighting, the headings of H1. I mean, H1 on the product name, wonderful, very specific, and um, very you know niche as to what exactly it is. Wonderful, uh, descriptive. And then I saw this here, you know, we have these items here, what's included, the description. You know, these, this is a missed opportunity to optimize this because you have a description, make that an H2. You have these subheadings under each of these, make these H3s. So again, a bit of an optimization there that, that, that can happen uh, for this specific product page. And recently viewed as randomly an H3 down here. Customers reviews again, H2. I'm not gonna criticize that too much. And then yeah, you said the links again. So let's go to the About Us page. You know, give us an idea of another type of page uh, on this site. So the About page is simply About Us, Old Oak Barrel. So nothing, you know, about, about us as furniture makers, you know, about, you know, where we are uh, in the UK, you know, Bedfordshire, um, you know, you are master furni oak furniture makers or, you know, something that could be more in that, uh, in that title there because about us obviously is not going to add anything to the equation and then highlighting our headings. How about that? So above the folder missing an H1 heading, the logo has lost its H1. There's no H1 or H2 here above the fold, which you'd anticipate would be here about us old oak barrel which I mean if your home page is very brand specific uh, the about us page can be revamped to be you know about furniture making or about you as a furniture maker or about what you know specifically you're doing there which I mean we'll see specifically they'll get into you know their history and what they've accomplished so good content here but then um, you know it just needs like a good h1 up above here on the fold these are h2s here which is fine you know it's an about page i don't expect too much from it and uh there you have it any questions okay so that gives an idea of how another page is treated and um yeah i mean so it's a beautiful website got some great things going for it um you can see that some of the strides they're making toward you know good seo um, but you know, some best practices need to be followed. There's room for improvement, you know, with every site, that's just how it is on my sites. None of my sites are perfect either. Um, but I hope that was informative and, and insightful, you know, for you guys in looking at your websites, evaluating them, doing this sort of audit process. I'm doing it kind of on a superficial basis here. You know, we don't have uh, Google search console access or analytics access to look at the keywords that these are already ranking for and so forth. So, you know, I don't have all the behind the scenes information, but you know, this is, you know, how this goes, you know, at least for kind of the front end, the facade here on, on these websites. All right. So again, thanks for tuning in. This was Kyle from Kirksville Web Design, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.